With more than $200 million cut from the Department of Public Health and Human Services last year, some people are losing their jobs and some clients don't have services anymore, particularly those who need mental health care services. Social workers and case managers are mobilizing to protect the profession and advocate for the well-being of some of the most vulnerable people in Montana. KPAX's Augusta McDonald looks at more cuts and consequences. One in five people in our state are impacted by uh, mental illness and these cuts are going to cut deep into all of our pocketbooks whether we know mentally ill people or not and at the same time we're decimating a profession the social work profession I mean, we've had almost a hundred firings in our state in the, since March 1st with these cuts. Andrew Lau is a licensed clinical social worker practicing in Montana for decades. He says the consequences of these cuts is overwhelming to consider. There is a crisis here for the, these people in our state and it's a high cost crisis because we know if we don't meet people's needs like on the front end, those needs are going to grow and then the interventions on the back end become incredibly costly. Social workers are turning their dismay into action. Lau is coordinating efforts to reach out to social workers who've lost their jobs and support those who are still working. For some direct health care providers, they've had to protect themselves as well. With industry-wide cuts and uncertainty in the workplace, a union formed in Missoula called the Montana Mental Health Workers Collective. Brooke Callahan is a mental health worker in the day treatment center at Western Montana Mental Health Center. There's a lot of confusion and sort of feeling like they have been left to the wayside and um, you know in a lot of ways they they have and it's it's really heartbreaking to see that every day. Callahan says the union provided a place to connect with other frontline workers who are handling these tough issues day in and day out. A coalition launched on Tuesday, bringing together clients, workers and providers, which is unusual, but they all have something in common. They need the legislature to adequately fund the Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services in order for them to maintain their health, their jobs and their businesses. They have two main goals. They plan to work with the state to ensure that public health and human services are adequately funded and they want to be able to provide input into how the department develops their regulations. It's a matter of life and death for some of the consumers. It's no joke and it, this, is, this is not acceptable. It is, it is intolerable and, and a lot of the direct care workers that I know are, are completely outraged that you know, that this, we have come to this. If you can take a step back from politics and just understand that everybody has a certain quality of life that they deserve. And so many people through no fault of their own um, are unable to achieve that quality of life without the kind of services that we offer. In Missoula, Augusta McDonnell, MTN News.